It's been a brutal battle of wits between three teams of PSOC experts. Team one, the Crawlers. Their robot showed its pretty face with color match lightsaber, tail lights, and the ultrasonic rangefinder. Team Sockbot displayed a PSOC powered Yoda driven lowrider with its own soundtrack and well designed components. And Team Hermes introduced their flying eagle with tons of PSOCI bells and whistles. Now, phase two of the competition begins. Who will be the fastest? Who will be champion? Okay, ready to start? Yeah! Okay, captains, please. The way we're gonna do it is, you start your robot, your body of the robot needs to be outside this line, so that's your start line. You do three laps in a single turn. We count the best time, and you get to do that three times. In between the runs, if you want to do some tweaking, you can. Team Hermes' robot, the Flying Eagle, is up first, followed by Team Sockbot's Yoda Lowrider. And racing third is not just a pretty face, built by the Crawlers. On the mark, go. Team Hermes started strong on lap one, but some wobbly turning disqualified their first lap. Back gone. Disqualified. This one won't count. The Flying Eagle dried off its wings for lap two, which ended up being their best time. Lap two, 21 seconds. Well, a little disappointed. We had better performance before. Next up, Team Sockbot brings its creative Jedi-driven robot with a twist of the dark side. Go! <laughs> the Yoda Lowrider takes the turns perfectly and brings in the best lap of a speedy 13 seconds. So it went really well. Uh, we put it on our safe mode, which drives a little bit slower and doesn't do anything fancy. And uh, we went through, did our three laps, no problem, when uh, 13 seconds average per lap. So we're looking forward to the next two turns. Go! The crawlers are up and they will have to be perfect to beat the mighty Sockbot. They make the tough turn at the wall, but don't have enough speed to catch the leaders. 18 seconds. We'll tweak it up, we'll tune it up, we'll see if we can make it better, but uh, 13 seconds is a tough, tough competition. Team Clawless got 18 seconds. Now Team Hermes, ready for the next one? So we reduced our maximum speed, uh, hoping that our robot would overshoot the line a little less. It might make it a slower trip around the course, but hopefully it uh, won't get off the track two out of three laps like it did last time. With a new goal of just staying on the line, Team Hermes looks to be successful, but the distance sensor fails, leaving them empty in round two. That leaves Team Sockbot more confident than ever. Hey, so we're getting ready for our second run. And uh, the only modification we've made is we're going to do a dance at the end of our third lap. Sockbot delivers another couple of laps at 13 seconds each. But halfway through the third lap, it prematurely kicked into its victory dance. <laughs> the crawlers made some serious speed adjustments, but are still not sure it will be enough. It will slow down when we hit those turns. I pulled that back so it speed up a little bit. Then I took some time off my feedback for the wall. <laughs> Although the first two rounds were dominated by Team Sockbot, the other teams still hold out hope that some minor tweaks will give them a solid round three lap time. Now this is the last run for all the teams. Go! And let the best team win. Team Hermes' Flying Eagle stays the course for a personal best of 20 seconds but doesn't come close to the leaders. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take all the, the safeties off and we're gonna let this thing go full speed. If this was a real car, I would not let my kids ride in it. I don't know if it's gonna finish. Go! Looks like it's on crash, doesn't it? <laughs> on lap number two, the low rider zooms to the fastest time of the day. 12.6. <laughs> and finishes it off with a dance Michael Jackson would be proud of. <laughs> with a strong round three by Team Sockbot, 
The crawlers have little confidence that they will overtake the lead. Uh, I think I might get some improvement, but uh, that wall has been a bear every single time. The crawlers finish with a strong round three and a team best 17 seconds, but it's not enough to surpass the leaders. And while the judges come up with the final scores for this two-part competition, each one of these teams knows that they built a fast, cool, and peace robot. Who do you think won? What do you think? Congratulations, guys. I think the big thing that set our robot apart was the integration of all of our individual pieces and really bringing them together and getting them all to work together as one unit. Any one of them that didn't work, you know, the, the robot would have just gone in circles or not gone at all. The Yoda Lowrider packed a mean PSOC punch, giving them speed, precision, and easy debugging. They added to that a 3D printed Yoda head, fire wheels, low profile, and a death march, putting them a step above the competition. Well, that was fun. I think everybody uh, enjoyed it, even if they didn't come in first place. Congratulations to Sockbot. You guys did a great job, especially in the amount of time. Congratulations.